Right time now for our next community conversation. We're joined by Andy Pillifont, the director of communications at the Paramount Theater. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, already looking ahead to the weekend because it's Monday. It's never too early. Never too early. And got a, a, a double dose of chance at Broadway this Saturday. Totally. So uh, DMR Adventures will be returning for their annual Broadway at the Paramount Performance. That will be on Saturday. They'll do two of them, one at 2 and one at 7.30. Um, great opportunity to take your family and enjoy um, some Broadway magic here in Charlottesville. Uh, it's, a, it's a great program that brings together uh, students in the area, and I think there's about a hundred of them that are going to be involved with the performances on Saturday uh, with some Broadway talent and some regional talent as well. Uh, they'll be singing songs from Finding Nemo, Mean Girls, um, Shrek, Sound of Music, and a couple other places, or from a couple other performances as well. Um, we love having them in the theater, and we're happy to have this one on Saturday. It's a classic to bring to the stage, and let's look ahead. Because we had some big shows and was announced recently, and one of them a great rock and roll group. Rock and roll, yes, that's one word to describe. Yeah, a bunch of ways you could describe it. Totally, yeah. and that's what makes them great. So yes, Little Feet is coming to the Paramount. Um, this will be in October, and it's presented by our friends at Star Hill. And they actually have a new album coming out on Friday, um, which is a blues album. It's mostly covers. There's one original, um, and this is their Can't Be Satisfied tour. So. Call it great timing to announce the tour, which pre-sales are happening this week, and a general on sale will begin on Friday, the same day as their album comes out. Um, what a band. 50 years, hard to define. You know them when you hear them. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, and again, the Paramount is just a great choice uh, for their performance at Charlottesville. Um, super excited about this one. It will be on October 26th. So we have some time, but... Not if you want the good, good seats. That's right. So, uh, yeah, that's exciting. All right. And we like the Paramount because one of the reasons is because the variety of music that comes and we kind of shift to the other end of the spectrum for another announcement. Um, yeah. So we, we're talking about June here now. So let's get a little bit of uh, Reel you back into more this. runway here between now and what's kind of coming up, but less than Little Feet. Um, Hilary Hahn will be with us on June 4th um, and she'll be supported by Andreas Hayfliger on piano. Um, Absolutely world-class music. I mean, the, the list of accomplishments between the two of these, these two performers is incredible. Hilary Hahn, um, what hasn't she done? What award hasn't she gotten? She's got a couple of Grammys to her credit. Um, she is uh, really in a class of her own when it comes to kind of involving the community of, of, of students learning classical music into kind of her world and what it is like. Um, she's an artist in residence at the uh, Chicago uh, Symphony Orchestra, the New York Philharmonic. Um, she's an art. Uh, uh, she's with Juilliard and graduated from Juilliard. Um, and she'll minor be, accomplishment. Yeah, you know, in her spare time, <laughs> um, and she'll be performing a trio of um, Brahms on violin. So if that ticks any boxes for you. Get a ticket and come down. That's on June 4th. All right, real quick before we get out of here, Pride Anthems back at the Paramount. So exactly a week later from that show on the 11th, we'll have Pride Anthems. And this is a really um, uh, exuberant and, and, and festive show um, that really kind of covers a large swath of music from the late 60s to today, um, and kind of starting with um, what happened at Stonewall. And that will be um, you know, on June 11th, like I mentioned. Um, a lot of genres of music, uh, a lot of celebration, and a lot of time to kind of think about what's happened uh, in the movement in the past 50 years. Andy, appreciate it as always. Thank you, Steve. Casey.